put down in the description below how to go about sending your Santa letter so that the kiddos can get their response from Santa. Happy Monday morning everyone! It is hard to believe that we are in the week of Thanksgiving. We have finished celebrating Luke's birthday uh, weekend yesterday and took down all the decorations and put them away. As you can see in the background, the pig is still here uh, with a kind of broken leg again. I had to fix his leg for the party. So I'm not sure he'll last much longer, but he's going to move out to the garage today. And then I have got to start getting ready for Thanksgiving. I'm going to sit down today. Plan is, is to sit down today and completely plan the menu. I picked up some things at Trader Joe's and Sam's and Walmart this weekend that I know I'm going to need for our Thanksgiving meal. Now I've just got to sit down and narrow down the menu um, and then see what else I'm lacking. I know I do have to pick up some cream cheese for one of the dishes, but I'll go to our grocery store and get that and then just a couple of other things. But I can't believe that Thanksgiving's already here. So this week is going to be spent getting that ready. Right now I'm fixing breakfast. If you're wondering, I keep looking over I'm fixing the voice and breakfast but um, then usually um, after Thanksgiving on Good Friday we have been doing the REI opt outside thing and it's been great so last year we opted outside this year we're going to opt outside because I'm not one to do Black Friday shopping it's just not worth it to me and um, if we come in you know that evening we'll sometimes look online like on Amazon or stuff like that in order but other than that we don't shop on Black Friday we usually wait so we're probably gonna go hiking on Friday we have to stay close uh, Ryan's on call so we can't venture too far off he's gonna have to be able to have cell reception and be able to come out you know if something goes down at work so we'll probably uh, hike close to home get the boys out do the opt outside and then Saturday or Sunday evening is when we'll usually go and pick our Christmas trees so last year we went to the Christmas tree farm and it was wonderful but um call me cheap or i'd like to use the term thrifty but uh i just couldn't pay 60 bucks for a tree that i could get the same one for at home depot for 25 and home depot pulls in from local tree farmers anyway so and uh, we may still go by the tree farm and you know walk around and you never know um look on a tree was at davis last year the tree was dead it was a dead tree and it had a price tag of ten dollars on it and uh but anyway that was funny so i have some i think i have video no i think i only have a picture of that i don't think i had any video footage of that from last year but we're going to be probably putting up the christmas this week so we'll have that to do i've got to um start pulling that out after thanksgiving i'll probably do that on saturday as well start pulling out some of the christmas decorations and then we're going to be kicking off christmas we've got some fun things planned for the month of december we always like to do crafts and activities and and we do field trips and things like that as far as the holidays go so we're really looking forward to it we always make ornaments and bake cookies and and um things like that so Anyway, I'm going to finish their breakfast, and then we are going to do a little bit of school. I'm not sure how much. Davis woke up not feeling well this morning, um, but Luke is fine. Ryan had been trying to come down with some kind of a sickness all week. Weekend, he's had a headache and stuff. I first thought it was the fires that we've been dealing with because the smoke's been bothering me, but he may be trying to come down with something, and now Davis has woke up not feeling well, so... We'll see how the day goes. I'm going to give him some medicine here in a minute and see if we can knock it out of him because they are rarely sick. Rarely sick. We may have to deal with sickness. Knock on wood. <laughs> uh, once if maybe twice a year. So um, hopefully it's just a fluke and, and it'll pass. But um, you probably can't hear me right now because the bacon is starting to cook because they always, unless I s surprise them with different dishes, for breakfast, they expect their usual bacon, eggs, and toast, and that's why I always get this kind of bacon, because at least it's uncured, so um, I don't feel as bad about them eating bacon every day, but I'm going to go start their breakfast, and I will check back in with you guys later. So today, part of my organizations that I'm going to have to do, and I have put this off forever, is to organize the pantry, because... I can't get things in here. I can't find what is in here and I can't get things in here. 
and um, the floor area is even disastrous. We have such little storage space in our house that it is crazy because Christy sent us this awesome cookie stuff to have a cookie party with and I have got to find places to put all of this stuff and then my mother-in-law sent this stuff because she had taken it with us on vacation this weekend and decided she didn't want it at her house so she sent it over here so I have all this stuff that needs a home and I have got to get it cleared off of here before Thanksgiving because our counter is where I put all the food out anyway so that is what I'm gonna be working on today is trying to get this pantry to where at least I can get stuff in there and I can find what I've got because I can't stand a cluttered counter and right now I can't get anything on the counter it's still cluttered it's crazy so anyway that's where I'm getting ready to start today so I'm not doing too shabby I am about 30 minutes in and it's getting there it's getting there I did have to dump some things out that it had expired and I hate 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 waste and stuff but some of it were some that companies had sent us and we'd maybe tried it and it wasn't we weren't crazy about it or it's not something that our family would normally eat and so we pushed it aside and where I normally would go ahead and fix it anyway before it expires I had lost track but they were like crackers so they were just kind of still so it wasn't anything major but I hate that I had to at least toss that because I hate wasting food but for right now here is what I've got so it's coming along this is some crusty stuff they sent us for a fall promo thing then we did some fun recipes with that. Um, we put one of them up on the blog. I think I ended up doing that. We've got a chicken and waffles we did on the blog with them. And then um, I used this for a last minute thing I had to do. The pumpkin spice uh, muffins. They were really good. Um, we've tried some of these. And then they sent us these for our... our uh, oh goodness. They sent us these for, uh, for a Christmas promo thing to do some cookies, which is going to be great. We're going to actually use these with our homeschool. We are going to have some um, a, a, a cookie decorating party thing. So we're going to be using those soon. Um, and then, this is something Davis got like three months ago. It still hasn't made. This is what I use when I make my um, cupcakes. I'm going to be putting those up on the blog soon. They're not, it's not my recipe. But I'm going to show you what they look like and I'm going to be sending you to the actual recipe because it's actually a new Belgium recipe. I'm using their pump cake beer and it's delicious. I made them for, um, I made those uh, cupcakes for Kiana's uh, house whole shower and they were a huge hit. They were delicious. Um, I was able to whip them out in like 30 minutes which surprised me but they turned out great and I'm just going to probably do them again for Thanksgiving. I'm debating it's going to be a small gathering. Ryan's parents are going to be going to his aunt and uncle's. Kiana can't make it in. So my parents and then Angelica is going to be here. I think she's bringing her boyfriend. So I don't want to do a lot because we don't eat a lot of sweets and I don't want to have a bunch left over. Of course I can send them home with Angelica because she's my, uh, she'll eat anything. She will literally eat anything. She's not picky. But anyway, uh, raisins, things like that. I've got all the baking stuff basically on the top. Back in the back, I've got my workout stuff, but I can climb. I've got the MAGA powder, the BCAA. I have got um, some vanilla protein. I've got to put the chocolate protein in. And um, so, I sorry about that, guys. My uh, memory card is full. It is time for a new memory card. Um, the bad thing is, I can't just transfer it over to our external hard drive because that I have two backup systems that are also full so I've got to get a new memory card but anyway it is coming along um I'm going to my dehydrator I've actually because I've been too busy to get down and get some of the stuff out of the pantry I've got the uh, dehydrator in the laundry room right now so I'm going to be moving that back out today and I'm putting it in the pantry and that'll free some space up in the laundry room because the laundry room is going to be my next place to tackle because it's a disaster because I'm telling you, we have homeschool stuff coming out of our ears, so I've got like shelves and crafts and it's just crazy in there as well. But anyway, it is coming along as you guys can see. Um, I've still got to organize all this. This is my stuff from Whole Foods, my bulk section, so I've got to try to organize that stuff and figure out where to put all this and then uh, the floor. I didn't even realize some of that stuff was down there. How bad is that that you have stuff and you don't even know what's under there because it gets lost under everything so anyway I am getting there and I'll just keep you guys updated as I go but we are slowly making progress 
So I'm definitely making progress and I'm almost done and there's a few things I've still got to organize it but I've cleared out most of the stuff but now I'm going to break because the kids need some lunch and then after lunch I'm going to get back at it and should have it knocked out within the next 10 or 15 minutes after that but um much more or this is I've still got to organize this is just stuff I put in here so I'm going to move that around these containers I have to keep handy because Ron's breakfast and lunch always go in those um, when he packs them so put the food um, dehydrator in here I've got my bread maker in here I've got my steamer in here um, blender food processor is actually in the laundry room I've got this oven and you know what I keep it and I keep it I still got a sweeping mop in here too you should see the, the mess here but I keep it and I don't know I just can't get rid of it my mom gave it to me for Christmas about five years or so ago and it's she had one and she loved it and it's great but for a family our size or even when the girls were here it wasn't something that I used a lot and I kept it on my counter for about a year used it maybe once so at that being said I think delivery's here yes let me get that is I have to sign for this so hold that hold that thought okay so the package arrived um, Davis is running around. He's not got dressed yet, so he definitely doesn't want to be on camera. He is still lounging around in his night clothes. But it's a pets thing, so they got some Secret Life of Pets stickers. We love that movie. I'm not sure if you guys got to get out to see that movie. Oh, just wait. They're trying to steal my package away from me. But we love that movie. And um, Luke said it was creepy, though, but it was cute. And then a little bookmark sticker. Is that a bookmark? And we got the movie. So now Luke can still say it's creepy, but Davis really loved it. Oh, this. And we got a Santa hat with dog ears. I mean, everybody needs a Santa hat with dog ears, right, Luke? Yes. Yeah? Okay, Luke found something else. What'd you find? Oh, like an activity it. set. I really kind of like it. Yeah? I um, like it. Yep, it comes out. Do you know it comes out on December 6th? It says this activity set contains a word search, maze, puzzle, sticker sheets, and coloring. And this is the hat. Is that not cute? It's got little doggy ears. It's a little Santa hat. That is so cute. Luke is yeah, like, I, yeah. Luke's, I huh? can't find the ears. You can't find the ears? Well, that's cool. <laughs> Now, where was I? I think I was on the oven. But anyway, I've just kept it and I've held on to it and I've debated donating it. I know our homeschool, uh, two of the leaders of our homeschool group are having yard sales every weekend. So I've thought about donating it and then I think, well, what if I donate it and I need it? So I don't know. It may be gone soon. I may just end up donating it. I mean, it's been in my closet for four years. I've not used it. I held it in case Kiana needed it and she never needed it. I held it in case Angelica needed it and so far she hasn't. So it's sitting here, it works great, but I'm probably just end up giving it to someone who will love it and use it and, you know, if it'll help them out. So it's great for one to two people, but a family, it's, it's not just something, it's just something we just didn't use. I mean, I have my oven and yes, there are times when I need two ovens, but that's just something I just couldn't justify using. So anyway, I'm going to fix the boys some lunch and then I'm going to hopefully get this organized and done and then we've got to do some school so got a busy day ahead so i wanted to bring everybody outside for a second this is the first time in forever that you can see around us it's awesome yesterday was a clear day as well the air quality is improving the fire is still going but right now i think last time i checked this morning it was at in our area it's currently at 70 percent containment now um there is one further up on the mountain, but it's not affecting our air quality right now. It could if the wind shift, but for right now we can see and it's clear. So it's great. I've actually been able to crack the door just a tad to let in some fresh air and it's been nice. So I just wanted to update everyone who had followed us with the, the fires and the possible evacuation and then the code purple air quality that the air quality is improving. So hopefully that we'll have more rain we did actually have rain when we were gone this weekend somebody had a few of our friends had posted over their facebook you know and i had spoken with my mom and she had 
was telling us also that she was getting rain so where we live there was rain as well so that's good not a lot but any little bit helps so anyway the wind is picking up now hopefully it'll calm down since the fires are still going on but I just wanted to update you guys on that now I'm gonna go back and finish the pantry okay I think this is about as organized as it's gonna get once again the baking stuff still up top and all of that down here I've got my storage containers back in here these are the things that I don't use all the time but I still use them and like I mentioned we have very limited storage space so it works out well just kind of pushing them to the back there um, oatmeal these little packets of seasoning you know I've got here are my chia seeds and arame and whole food stuff and snacks a couple of snacks crackers and things like that and um, that Ryan's mother had sent um, down here the dehydrated corn um, these I have I really can't find a place to put those those are my piping tips so I just kind of leave those so I can grab them um, but all of that stuff that's used a lot like they're the pumpkin spice this and this is grabbed a lot Nutella's behind there so that these are used daily so they're there trash bags I know there's a better place but it works for now um, these runs mother sent these and we don't use bathroom cups um, I don't know I feel that's a waste but so I've got them here we use them like sometimes when we paint I'm not sure what to do with them sandwich uh, freezer bags and then this will be coming out on Thursday that's for Thanksgiving the snack bucket so they can reach in here and get their snacks and like before bread maker steamer blender coffee hot cocoa so that is it and then these things I don't know I have nowhere to put those um, they don't eat those my mom had sent them for the boys and we just don't really feed them I don't know they just don't eat stuff like that that much and they've had it I'll, I'll take them in there put them in the freezer and take them out put them in the freezer and take it out. they never eat them so I've got two boxes of those just kind of hanging out so I guess they'll just hang out and maybe eventually they'll eat them I don't know it says they're still good till like 2017 June of 2017 so hopefully they'll get them ate by then hopefully Definitely much better than it was when I started, so it took me about an hour, hour and a half, give or take, but that was also taking stuff out, going into the laundry room, rearranging some things, pulling the dehydrator to put it actually where it goes. I normally keep it in here, and I just, the closet was too messy, uh, the pantry was too cluttered. I shouldn't say messy, cluttered, it wasn't, but anyway, when we had finished doing our corn this summer, so now it's back here where it goes, so hopefully everything now has a home for now. Next up is probably going to be the laundry room, but I don't know if I'll get to it this week or not since I've got some other things I've got to get done, but maybe I can get to the laundry room because it is a disaster in itself. Oh, there's the Santa dog! So well, now that I have finished organizing the pantry and getting it done and laundry done, we are now writing letters to Santa. So I'm going to tell you guys also, if you want to write a letter to Santa, when the boys are all finished, I've got to help Luke with some of his spelling. Uh, but I will tell you guys how to send your letter to Santa. I, it does need to be postmarked and be have to arrive in Alaska by the by Thanksgiving thirteenth. So goal is to mail it out just immediately after Thanksgiving. But anyway, they are writing their letters. So Davis, how's it going with your letter? Good, but I hey, I said I'll tell you what I'm. There was something I was gonna put on it. I don't remember it right now. But my <coughs> goodness, you can take skate three off because Luke got it for his birthday. Okay. <laughs> but I do have stuffed NTDM on it. You do. Why you want like one? Why do you want one? <laughs> That's to play off a model. Mm. Play a okay. done and so it's what I'm gonna do is put down in the description below how to go about sending your Santa letter so that the kiddos can get their response from Santa. Me. Well so, so very, very mean. Excuse your Dan. 
Davis is over here watching Dan TDM. Um, I think we're going to end the vlog for the day. What do you think, Davis? Mm -hmm. We've done quite a bit. Just got the pantry cleaned out. Got the kitchen somewhat organized. Wrote the letters to Santa. Once again, be sure and check the description below. Um, I'll put in how to do that and where to send it. So, and hopefully Davis will get to feeling better tomorrow. Since he's not feeling very good right now, right? Mm -hmm. Do you want to say it? Thank you for sharing our day. <laughs> he might be sick, but he definitely wanted to get that in. <laughs> Mommy, I've had a set of this so far. I, I, I know it's on your mouth. Oh, wait. Someone else is yelling at me. Yes, Luke? Thank you for sharing our day. Oh, okay. Bye. <laughs>